Do you want a premium steel on the blade of your Swiss Army knife? Well, sometimes I do because I'm cutting too many things and I just don't want to stop and like resharpen multiple times during a project, which happens to me sometimes with a Swiss Army knife. So when I went to Knife Center and I saw an ad for a new Swiss Army knife with premium steel, not the Malga 6, this is the Campo 8. I bought it. It's here. Let's take a look. We're going to start with the blade and for comparison i have a huntsman because it has a very similar tool set and both of these are essentially brand new to me although i should say i broke the leaf spring on the huntsman earlier today while i was just messing around with it so that's not cool all right here's the blade it is m390 it cuts very very nicely and here is the victorinox blade oh yeah also cuts extremely nicely as expected let's hold them up together uh, Yep, looks good. You can see my picture in the reflection on there. There you go. <laughs> Very similar shape. This one has a tang stamp that says Italy on one side and M390 on the other. All right, this is great. Let's use it to, to cut some paracord. I'm expecting this to work extremely well. That was the MKM, and here is the Victorinox. Fantastic. Both of them very nice and clean cuts there. Let's move on. Next, we've got our secondary blade. And on this Malga, or on this, excuse me, Campo 8, it is serrated. So I'm going to try this. I did actually try this already, and I was a little... It's not like that great on paper, but that's not what you're using a serrated blade for anyway. It's just not for this task. To me, a serrated blade is more for, like, cutting cordage. So let's give it a good chance here. Yeah, so it does cut, but not all the way through first time. Honestly, in comparison to the main blade on here, you have to work a lot harder to cut cordage with this. It's possible, but it often takes me a couple passes. But it does it. Um, my thoughts on this blade, I'm, I'm not as in love with this blade as I am with the rest of this knife. Let's keep going through the tool set, though. I am super excited to try out this saw. I'm going to try to uh, get you some footage of that even yet today. I hope I can do that and got it on there for you. And here it is in comparison to the Victorinox saw. The actual cutting saw teeth surface is slightly longer, if you can see that on the Victorinox, but just hardly, hardly longer at all. The overall shape of the saw is very similar. But the teeth are not the same at all. And I think that this is actually, all of the teeth kind of point backwards, if you can see that there. I think that is actually going to be a pole saw as compared to the Victorinox, which is a push and pull saw. But I'm going to try that out. Next, let's move on to the opener layer. All right, so we've got, now these are set up backwards. If you are used to your can opener on the right when you look at it, this has the cap lifter there and the can opener is on the other side. The can opener does not have a screwdriver tip on there. It is a supposed to be a very good functioning shape of a can opener. The cap lifter is fairly standard and it does have a screwdriver at the end or it could be a, a light duty pry bar. Let's compare these two light duty pry bars. You can see that the um, MKM Campo 8 is significantly smaller, which should really allow it to get into a variety of sizes of screws. On this one, if I've got a larger flathead, I use this. If I've got a smaller flathead, I actually use the screwdriver tip on the back of the can opener. And since we don't have that, then we don't have to, uh, don't have the opportunity to worry about that. But I do feel like this would get into pretty much any regular size reasonable flathead you would run into usually but what if you run into a phillips oh check it out on the back we've got both a corkscrew and a phillips head screwdriver the phillips head screwdriver is round and uh it looks like it's going to be pretty standard i don't have any phillips head screws to screw with it but there we go Kind of an awkward sentence all right so now here we've got the corkscrew it is a four turn corkscrew similar to the victorinox corkscrew let's put them in the same orientation really the geometry on this looks very very similar and it should work well there is some room for over travel on this side if you use that to help get your wine bottle out that is a possibility there Okay, now before we get to the scissors, we're going to move on to everybody's favorite tool, the lanyard hole. This one comes without a key ring in it, but you could put a lanyard in there. Now, I, I believe, let's see, no, I, don't, I don't think that either of these are 
integral to the liners. These are separate from the liners, I think, for both of them. It's a little bit different shape. It has a little movement to it, actually, so that's interesting. I would assume it would be pretty stable, and it is. I can kind of see if I look inside there. It is attached in there uh, through the same pin that's holding everything else in, but it does have a little, little travel to it there. Okay, now let's move on to the scissors. Unlike the Victorinox scissors, this has a cutout. Can you see that? It's got like an actual hole that goes right through the scissors. And that means that you can access this from either side, which is fantastic. No problems with paper, just like the Victorinox. Now let's get, uh, did I cut up all the cordage? I cut up a lot of it. <laughs> let's, let's give this a try here. We'll just leave it floppy and see how it cuts. Oh, it cuts very nicely. And then just as a comparison, I might as well bring out the Victorinox scissors. Let's see. That also cuts very nicely. Oh, if I get it all the way in the scissors, that works better. Like I said, the leaf spring. All right, so this, good scissors. Good scissors, definitely a useful tool. So let's get outside. We'll try out that saw. And in the meantime, I will tell you a little bit about what I've got going on with the outside here. This is green canvas micarta. It is, the scales are held on with these Torx drive, um, screws here. However, I don't think that anybody is yet making any other handles that you could put on here so that you're kind of stuck with these scales. To me, they look nice. It comes in three colors, black and natural, I think, uh, canvas micarta. I think it looks really good though. I don't have any concerns about the appearance on this or these scales in particular. It is nice to know they could be replaced eventually if somebody does make some scales or you could have some done custom. Notably, and <laughs> These do not allow you to take the knife apart and easily modify the knife. You know, and honestly, if they did, I would get a Malga or a fork from a Malga and I would probably replace this serrated knife. I don't know that this gives me enough added function and the serrated function of it for cutting cordage doesn't seem like it has shown, you know, quite as nicely as the regular knife. So I could picture a scenario in which I took that off and replaced it with the fork from the Malga. All right, let's get outside and try this saw. All right, I'm not sure whose idea this was because it's, uh, it's raining. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try to do just a little bit of cutting on this piece of wood so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. There's Finn. He loves anything to do with saws, especially if you can find a uh, chainsaw, man, he'll go and put his face right next to it. Really got to watch that dog. All right, so pretty easy to make some space through there. This is the cut I just made here. Pretty easy to do it with the Victorinox saw. I certainly have no complaints about that. And then we'll go right next to it. Now, I said I think this is a pole saw only. <laughs> Good saw. Wow, I'm almost as a. Uh, wow, this is a really nice saw. Boy, I've gone farther and I feel like I haven't done as much work. And it is the same piece of wood. Now let's see if we can figure out if this is the pole saw or not. I'm so excited how good it works. Boy, this saw really makes up for that blade I'm not so fond of. And I'm getting. I don't know, I get, if I just do push strokes, I really don't get much for sawdust coming out. I don't know if you can see that. Let me try to do that at a different angle. But if I do pull strokes only, I get sawdust coming out. So I'm going to say this is a pull saw, but man, it's working great. Thank you so much for joining me. See you next time.